thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, this week and try like a week long vlog. I feel like that would probably be more manageable and slightly more interesting than my standard uh, vlog in a day type thing because I don't get on with a lot during during one day uh, whereas throughout the week I managed to get a fair amount of things done. Uh, so today is Tuesday the 5th of October uh, yesterday I had a meeting in the afternoon uh, with some of the girls from the pop-up shop um, which was interesting, it was all to do with the shop fittings and things uh, so getting everything ready because we open I think next month um, or the end of the month anyway so <laughs> it's all a bit of a go and uh, throughout the year I haven't really picked up uh, a lot to do with the pop-up shop um, but I'm finally able to do a little bit more, so uh, I went along to the meeting yesterday um, and we have lots of ideas on how to change the shop for this year because uh, the last two years it's kind of, we've had the same sort of layout and the same look and so we're trying to freshen it up a little bit. So it was really nice to be able to uh, put forward some ideas because I feel like I haven't pulled my weight this year. Uh, so hopefully I can get on with that a little bit more uh, and then today uh, I've just finished work well a few hours ago um, and I've just come back from dropping off oh dropping off some products because I have paid for a local photographer to take some product shots for me uh, so taking photos for me is is kind of stressful I don't enjoy it um, I I hate pretty much every aspect of it. Uh, I think my photos look nice now, but just to get like one nice photo, it, it's a lot of effort and me just getting more and more annoyed at it. So <laughs> I've, um, I have essentially hired a photographer. I've just dropped off all of the products I'm looking to get photographed um, and I'm, I'm hoping she can work her magic and make look make things look really, really nice. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I've never hired a photographer ever. Um, but uh, yeah, I basically gave her a, a big box filled with yarn, some stitch markers, some knitting needles, uh, lots of little things as well. Uh, and I basically just told her to play with them because I don't actually have any... Um, uh, overall idea of what I want her to take uh, so a lot I think a lot of the time people have some sort of marketing plan or something like that but I am not organized to do that uh, so I basically just told her to play with them um, and come up with some nice images uh, maybe next time I'll be able to have uh, some sort of guidance <laughs> for her but unfortunately not this time but uh, I'm really excited to see what the photos look like I think she's, I can't remember the date, I think it's next week she's actually taking the photos but I had to drop off the products this week so she could, has time to um, play with them and then uh, work out if she needs to buy any props or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it uh, but I think for this afternoon I'm probably just going to sit down, maybe do some reading, uh, maybe play uh, on the PlayStation. Ants just downloaded the Cottage expansion for Sims 4, so uh, I'm kind of tempted to uh, play that now. Um, and yesterday I stopped by Waterstones and bought a new book, so I'm kind of tempted to read that too. Uh, so uh, just before we had the meeting, I parked in the galleries in uh, Bristol, um, and they've got Waterstones there, so I stopped by and I picked up the... Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, which has uh, recently come out and I really enjoyed his Nevernight series so um, I have decided to give his new series a go as well. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then see how it goes. <laughs> okay, I did none of the above. I sat down and fell asleep. Apparently that's all I needed. <laughs> Okay, as you might have gathered, <laughs> uh, yesterday I woke up feeling not great, 
uh, and I woke up this morning feeling even worse. Uh, I have somehow delightfully managed to get a cold. Uh, I done a, a COVID test yesterday, so that came back ne negative. So that's that's one good thing. Uh, but um, yeah, colds. It's a great day to be me. That's all I can say. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, again, my my plans have been foiled. Um, I I had plans to oh washing machine just gone on spin if you can hear it i'm sorry sorry um yeah i had plans of getting on with stuff sorting out the office so that i can dye stuff tomorrow when i come back from work that's obviously now not happening uh i have tried to organize myself i sit down at my desk it's just not happening um so I sat down, I caked up some balls of yarn, uh, ready for my shawlography cast on when that comes round to doing it. Uh, so I've got a few colours set up ready for it. Um, and I'm going to give myself an hour to do a bit of reading. Um, I have now started The Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Uh, it's... It's an interesting style of writing. Um, I really enjoyed his Never Night series, and this almost feels completely different. Uh, so far, the the language that he's used is almost is really descriptive, and it's really almost poetic in a way. Uh, so it it's really interesting. Uh, I'm only a few, well, back chapter in, but it seems quite good. Um, I'm going to give myself an hour <laughs> reading uh, and then try and go back to doing some work again. It's always, uh, it's not often I get colds. I tend to get them in sort of January time and generally that's because I've overworked myself so much over Christmas uh, that <laughs> as soon as I start slowing down, I just get ill, basically. Um, and I think it might, be something similar again so I've been uh, working and getting everything ready for the Southern Wall show which was a few weeks ago uh, last month actually I think I was dying and, and designing stuff and getting everything ready for it and it just now that I've stopped again I think it's just my body's gone hey you know what that means illness uh, so I'm hoping it only last a few days. Uh, I'm off uh, from my <laughs> I'm off from my day job uh, from Friday, so I'm hoping I can take the first few days to sit and relax and drink all the lemon and ginger tea, and then um, hopefully by next week I'll be all right and I can get back to getting on with dyeing and sorting out the business and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I'm gonna get this is gonna push me behind again, which is really annoying. Because uh, I want to spend a few days dyeing up stock and things for the trunk show at the end of the month. Because uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to fit <laughs> fit in enough time to do it. Uh, and I'm running low on a few colorways, and I want to restock for those ones as well. Oh, but. It's not happening today, I can tell you that now. Today is Tuesday the 12th. You might be able to hear uh, just behind me <laughs> lots of uh, noise. 
that is basically my induction hob. I uh, basically it's a tie day today, so I'm trying to get everything ready for the trunk show at the end of the month um, over at Alternate Universe. Really excited by it, but also. Now I'm a little bit stressed because I've realised that I've run out of quite a few colourways uh, from the Southern Wall show. A lot more than I actually anticipated. So <laughs> I've written everything down and it's worked out to dyeing quite a lot. Uh, so the next few days I'm going to be spent in this poxy, tiny little kitchen that's really just enough room for one, maybe two people in it. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to try and dye as much as I can, uh, especially some of the more popular colours. So this morning, I have got, let's see if I can spin it around. This morning, uh, oh, steamy. Um, I've got a scarab beetle in on my induction hub, which is the thing that makes so much noise. And then I've also got a pan of sunshine going. Uh, I've got another pan that is just pre-soaking um, and that will be my new colourway High Priestess. Uh, so for my next shop update and also for the trunk show I'm going to be having a few new colourways. Uh, they, I've got three new semi-solid colours uh, and I'm going to try and come up with a few sort of autumnal Halloween-y uh, sp sp speckles in semi-speckles as well. Uh, but we'll see how we go because I've got to dye uh, my past colourways up as well. Uh, so that is pretty much today. Uh, it's just me constantly flipping the pans and everything over. Uh, it's pretty handy that I bought myself a trolley the other day because otherwise I would have run out of room a long time ago. So my, my trolley is in pretty much constant use. Uh, well timed! well time thing. Uh, I've also got my photos being taken today by Veronica Photography. Um, so uh, I gave her a bunch of stuff and basically said play with them. Um, <laughs> I, do, I saw the first shot so she sent me a test shot image uh, to see whether the setup uh, was correct with my brand and stuff and oh my god it's so good. I'm, I'm really excited to see what else she comes up with. Uh, but also a little bit nervous as well because <laughs> I gave her some slightly odd things like I gave her a half knit sock and I don't know what she's going to do with it if anything I sort of I, I messaged her and said my brain wasn't working I'm sorry 